All right, guys, so I'm making this video because I want to show you guys how to upload your WordPress site to a actual C panel. So I did create the video on using SiteGround, which I really like that hosting, especially if you're just starting out, they're a great host. But as I was like using it, I noticed that like the C panel wasn't there uh, the way that I normally, they normally have one. Like most hosting companies will have a C panel that you use, but SiteGround for some reason didn't have it. And after I contacted their support, they said they no longer use C panels. Everything is through their hosting tool or their website, which is still good and still, you know, great if you want to use SiteGround. But let's say you didn't want to use SiteGround, you got a different hosting and they had a C panel. Now, what do you do? So that's why I made this video. So um, I just want to go through and show you um, this is what a normal C panel looks like and how you would go about obviously uploading your WordPress theme and also creating an email and an email forward. So we're in the C panel right now. And the first thing that we want to do is you're going to see a software section in whatever um, C panel you have. It may say something else, but you're going to see like a little section where there's going to be software. There may be something that says quick install, or there may be something that says WordPress, something like that. So this one has quick install. I'm going to press on that. And then here it's going to ask me what I want to install. I'm going to say, I want to install a WordPress site. And it gives me all these different options, what, which I do not want and I do not need. I simply want to install the free WordPress. So I'm going to say install WordPress. And now it's going to ask me um, what I want to do. I want to install to chimeramedia.com. Now here, this slash install path, you want to leave that blank. And sometimes with a cPanel, cPanels will do like their installers will, will automatically put in like WP here um, or or some kind of word here. You, you want to just backspace and make sure there's nothing there. Because if you do that, then it's going to be in in a different folder. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but just make sure you you just make sure there's nothing here. That way, the WordPress install is going to be installed on the root domain. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is put in your admin email. So this is going to be your main email. Whoops. Um, and then you're going to put your blog title, admin, admin username, first name, and your last name. So just for the purpose of this, I'm just going to put in Chimera Media as the title. Um, and then my admin username and first name. So I'm going to fill this out and then I'm going to press install WordPress. Okay, so it says quick install. Okay, we're setting up WordPress for you, right? So it says you can find a theme, buy a theme. I don't, I don't need to because I'm going to be giving you guys a theme. So no, I'm a web designer. So it says your your install is complete. Click here to view your notifications or credentials. So once you click down here, what's going to happen is they're going to show you your username, your password, everything else. So I am not going to click on this because you, well, let me just click on it um, and I'll change the password. So here it shows me the admin area, my username, and then my password right here, right? So now the only other thing I have to do is again, I have to go over to my hosting account, you know, make sure that I have the right name servers. Um, and if you don't know, well, let me just show you how to do that. All right, so I'm in GoDaddy. I'm in my domain settings for Chimera Media. Then all I'm gonna do is go down to where it says Manage DNS. And you can see here are my old records that I had from um, SiteGround. But since I'm showing you how to set up on this, this cPanel, I'm actually gonna change the name servers to that cPanel. So if you didn't watch that other video, all you're doing right here is these are the name servers. This is what's going to allow your domain name to point to your hosting. So I'm going to see, save those. 
Now, it takes anywhere from 10, 15 minutes to 24 hours for the whole connection to go through. So like right now, if I go to um, Chimera Media, the the WordPress site probably is not going to be up yet uh, because I just changed over the name service, right? So it's not going to show up. So don't panic if you change the name service and you don't see your WordPress site up yet. Just give it some time like to propagate or to crawl or whatever the internet does to recognize that connection. So let's though go back to the C panel. So now we have the WordPress site installed. How do you create an email in a C panel? Well, it's super easy. You just go to find out emails, you go to email accounts. And uh, right here, this button says create your email and see at Chimera Media. So I'm gonna create Joe at Chimera Media and I'm gonna um, enter a password here. All right, and what I always like to do is I like to make sure that there's unlimited space because you know you never want your um, email to be to get full, and that'll happen if you leave it on this 250 megabyte setting. So I'm going to create that email. Super easy, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create another one, and I'm going to create an admin email, and I'm going to create a password for it create so the other thing you're going to want to do is if you're um if you want to forward like say i use my gmail account a lot and i want like any email that comes to joe at chimera media to be forwarded to my um gmail account you just simply go to forwards and uh, there's going to be a, a section where you can add a forward right here. Um, so I want to forward Joe at Chimera Media to my email. And I'm going to add that forward. And now the forward is all set. And really that's basically all you need to do. And what I'm gonna do in another video is I'm gonna um, show you how to upload the theme that we made for you. So once you guys have this cPanel set up um, and you're hosting, next step is going to be to upload your agency theme, which I'm gonna show you in the next video. All right guys, see you then.